Honestly, it was just life-changing. I was going through like a really crazy depression at that point. Really figure out what I wanted to do in life and who I was as a person, let alone an artist, you know? I wanted to figure out that person first before I became the artist. You know, and so New York was kind of just, it really built my mental at that time because I'd just be cancer at that point that I moved to New York. So I was going through a depression after the fact. So coming to New York was very just fast moving. It was a new schedule, it was a new feel, it was a new energy that I needed to kind of uplift me and really just like punch me in the neck, you know, to kind of just like get my head and all my like life together and what I actually want to do in life. And I created the whole album concept out here and the whole album concept that I have out right now, I just released my album, but it's like this whole journey from this dark to this light place. And that for my head was from New York to LA. Absolutely, yeah, no, I remember watching like, it was the way I am music video. And it was just like him like falling from like, I think he jumped off a cliff. And I just remember watching that and I remember I was just being this kid who had so much to say and had so much feeling inside that I didn't know how to express. And I was such an angry kid, but I was like, didn't know how to express that. So Eminem was definitely that person because I was going through a lot of like shit as a child. This was like first grade. And you're going through a lot of things. You don't really know what you're going through, but you're going through like these emotions. And Eminem was very that person to kind of like, my parents are fighting, I have, I'm listening in the headphones and I'm in the closet, you know what I'm saying, like listening, so like, dude who did not care about what anybody thought of him and just was very confident in himself and then was just not afraid to talk about what he was going through, you know. No, I think that's, I think that's what I wanted to be. Before I was writing songs since I was like 15, but just like, to write them, like raps and poems and just, to get that artistry out of my chest and the creativity out of my chest, but like, it wasn't fully who I was because I didn't know who I was. So how am I gonna write a song to be transparent? How am I gonna write a song that's, you know, vulnerable or actually me because I wasn't being me until I got cancer, until they're like, oh, you have a couple months to live. And then I was like, if I make it out alive, then I'm gonna live a life true to myself. So therefore I'm gonna write songs true to myself. And then if that helps somebody, then it helps somebody, but that's why I make music. I think it was being present, being in the moment, you know, just doing little things, little things every day to make you happy. Like waking up, I wake up early now and I like will go on a walk and catch the sunrise every morning I try. You know, it's just little things, eat the right breakfast that you want to eat, you know what I'm saying? Talk to the right person that's not negative, you know? And it's like all these littlest things to make your life actually just move better and make you present to be what's going on right now. Because we're all so fucking, frantic in this world that really just wants to get to the next thing or what's next or what's next. No one's really being like, I'm here. Like right now, it's just you and me. This is the conversation. That's all. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.